Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? Okay, I am uh, dropping my child off on um, the bus for Friday fun day. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to work at the daycare with my little kiddos and I'm very, very excited of my weekend plans. I have a woman's retreat that I am going to to learn how to be a better Christian woman and how to build my relationship with Christ. I am super excited about all of the activities and uh, lessons and sermons and dinners and lunches that I'm gonna be doing this weekend with those ladies. And um, I'm feeling confident that I am doing God's will. And I'm very excited about the um, plans I have uh, for some uh, future events that are gonna take place uh, with some friends and some um, of the things that my children and I are going to be planning to do in the next couple of weeks. I have a 14 year old who is interested in dating for the first time. Yeah, you guys, he wants to go on a date. And um, he's like, well, mom, what can I do to earn some money? You know, to go take this girl out to a movie. And you guys, here we go again. I am just so happy that I am teaching my kids how to do things right. When your child comes to you and says, how can I earn money to take a girl on a date? It just shows that he knows that I am not going to give him money for no reason. He has to earn it. And um, he was talking to me about having a job for the summer and he's 14. He won't turn 15 until July. So, um, you know, it's just, He's wanting to also start practicing driving. Um, he's very anxious to get his permit. He is um, wanting to get a job and work. Uh, he's like, even if it's McDonald's, he's like, I wonder if McDonald's would hire me, you know? And he would be, you know, such a good worker. Um, I, I really feel like he's got a really good, um, strong head on his shoulders. My 14 year old just signed up for his freshman, wow, freshman classes next year and uh, signed up for ROTC. He's talking a lot about going into the military, which I have really mixed feelings about it. I think it would be great for my son to go into the military. I think it's something that would help him tremendously. Um, and I love that he's willing to fight for his freedoms and his rights and uh, to fight for America. But uh, I know what cost that would take. And um, so I do have mixed feelings about it. He is aware of my mixed feelings, but he knows that he has his mother's love and support in whatever decisions he wants to make in his life. Um, and it begins with allowing him to make those decisions and just kind of guide him with my opinion. I love it when my boys come to me and they ask my opinion. Mom, do you think I could do this or do you think I could do that? And, you know, a lot of times uh, I have to, you know, discuss things with their fathers. But um, I am very supportive, especially if it's something on my parenting time with them. And um, I ultimately want my children to be able to do the things in this life that they want to do that I can support them in. Um, it just brings me such joy to be able to have these deep personal relationship conversations with my um, children. I am loving having the freedom of being a mother and the freedom of having the choice to become a Christian parent. 
and to be honest with you guys growing up as a Christian has always been kind of difficult for me I have a lot of friends who are non-believers um, I always have and um, everyone has always known my stance everyone has always uh, given me my free will to um, make my own decisions based on my faith and um, the only people that um, I have had struggles with is my marriages uh, when they don't believe the same as me anymore um, it has caused conflict in our marriages and so I have um, made it very clear that as a mother the number one thing I want is to be able to have a Christian upbringing for my children um, I have during my marriages I have post divorce and it's not going to ever change um, and as a Christian woman this is something that um, I get to do and make a decision on my own that I have decided to follow Jesus there's no turning back no turning back at all and I am choosing to exercise my Christian rights and I am so proud to live in America where I have that freedom of choice and so um, life is good life is good I wanted to kind of make this video as my morning video I have so much to do today um, getting ready for work and the daycare and being able to provide for my kiddos and um, take care of some personal things that I have to do today and also um, that woman's retreat this weekend is going to be a blast and so I want to encourage you as a Christian mother to always um, you know continue building your faith and um, doing what is right and according to God's will and um, do whatever it takes to keep learning and keep on that path of making the right decisions is very difficult when you are divorced and your spouse or ex-spouse has decided to change the way that they believe and there is lack of communication and working together and um, it is something I am struggling with and I'm being very honest with you guys um, my number one goal in my life is to remain faithful to God and to remain um, being a Christian mother to my children and teaching them what's right and what's wrong and um, I just got off the phone with the school principal uh, for my nine-year-old and very very happy with the discussion that we had and it was all recorded and um, so I love that I can um, have that support that I need and um, it just shows that God's in it. God's in it. God loves me and God is, um, you know, guiding me to make the right decisions. And um, side note, I'm laughing here because I barely pulled into my driveway and my cat was outside and she runs up to my car before I even turned into the driveway. Like, how does she know that this is my car? Like, and now she's sitting outside at the um, my door uh, by my car and she's wanting to go back inside. <laughs> so we're going to go back inside. But um, I wanted to just share with you guys that... Um, these are things that I'm dealing with in my journey uh, as a single Christian mom. And so I want to encourage you every day when I am struggling through life, 
I want to um, share my journey and I want to be honest with you guys and just say, hey, you know, it's difficult to be in a Christian and it's difficult being a single mother and um, it's very difficult to be both. So um, fight the good fight. Uh, finish the race is what the Bible says. Finish the race. And um, I think the time is short, you guys. And it is now time to stand up for what you believe in, even if it is your child going off into the military and fighting for our freedoms in America. Uh, the cost of that is so great. Um, but fighting for your freedom, fighting for your religion, fighting for your faith is, and what you believe in, in general, is something that is worth fighting for. And love is worth fighting for. So I hope you guys have a blessed day, and there probably won't be very many videos this weekend, but I will try to videotape what I can. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.